from third and ten. McCord backpedaling. Harrison has this one and has the Buckeyes first first down out of bounds on the far side 46 yard line again at 15 and exactly like you would expect an elite receiver do he, he answers with an unbelievable corner out here on third and ten He gives Kyle McCord just an incredible surface working back try to keep the references down though. Second and eight out of the gun McCord again backpedaling firing left sideline Fleming fighting for it. No, it's Harrison, and he's got it. Inside the red zone to the 18-yard line, a gain of 34. You, you got to like the call there by Ryan Day and the design. They've worked that out route two times in a row on the left side of the field, and Kyle McCord comes back and is able to deliver a double move to Marvin Harrison Jr. down the field on the out and up for a huge explosive play. That's a nice got the tight end flanked wide to the bottom of the screen. Pedaling, McCord lofting for the end zone. Caught. That's a touchdown. Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvin Harrison Jr. capped off by that touchdown. Buckeyes on the board early. Six nothing here at Ross Aid Stadium. It is a Big Ten second. As Martel Tate checks into the game. Wide to the left. Harrison's to the right. Marvin Harrison catches. Mar he makes a move. 30. 25, Marvin Harrison down the sideline. Dylan Fiedemann, the freshman, pushes him out of bounds, but for Harrison, it's his fourth catch already today. And Marvin Harrison does a great job. One of the things Brian Hartline talked to us, like, what can this guy get better at? He's pretty much a lead at everything. He talked about running after the catch, and there they get him the ball quickly in his hands, and he does the rest, making the defender miss, getting the first down. Harrison already four for 77. Brian Hartline, former NFL wide receiver, also coaches these wide outs. The play fake to Johnson under pressure. Train him. 35. Big collision at the 30. Certainly would train him on the sideline. And Hayden in the backfield. The court pulls it. And he runs and but for the sideline now third and one McCord on the keeper. And the Buckeyes are four for four today early on third. Flying in. Just in case that ball was caught. With Alessandro on the coverage. Now on second down. This one's up the seam. That one's caught by the big tight end. Kate Stone. But fumbled to end Ohio State's last possession as he was going in. McCord comes back and goes right to the is down. This is a very different looking Ohio State offense today. McCord to throw. Stover has another one. Stover into four. Third and goal. McCord tall in the pocket. Throws into the end zone in traffic. That's caught. That's a touchdown. That's Kate Stover. And Grant's going to be the right guard when Purdue is. The Buckeyes back on the field, and McCord's going to throw on first down. How about drive missed a field goal? His game closed the first half with a good drive, and again missed a field goal. The Buckeyes open. Would have catch it here to bring up a short second and one. Could not catch it to open up the game, and now McCord with a little trickery hits Johnson on the rollout. Xavier Johnson breaks a tackle. And Xavier Johnson, who is stepping into the big shoes today of the Mecca of Buka with 21 yards into Purdue territory, Dylan Thienman with the tackle. Yeah, and Xavier Johnson just does a great job here. He kind of remains, you know, in the old option verbiage in pitch phase. And you got to give Kyle McCord credit because he just is a playmaker out there. He's kind of a shortstop distributing the baseball. Sorry. Buckeyes great on third down, 6 4 7. As McCord backpedals, fires for Tate. Tate has it. Tate breaks tackles and make it seven for eight. Botros Alessandro eventually with the tackle as the true freshman from Chicago gets a first down out to the 36. And Ohio State's been great on third down all day today. They're able to get the ball out, breaking tackles for another huge third down conversion by Carnell Tate who just checked into the game Buckeye fans certainly aware of just inside the one yard line really got him fired up maybe I spoke too soon certainly a little animated there as McCord drops to throw Tate running free Tate across the 20 and thrown down at the 14 Cam Allen with the tackle Carnell Tate with his second big play on this drive yeah, we, we talked about Carnell Tate just before as a guy who's burst onto the scene. Just an incredible job there. One of the things this Purdue defense does, they find a lot of different ways to get to cover two. 
They try to disguise it, make it hard on the quarterback to see. That's a great job by a true freshman wide receiver. And a gain of 60 to put him inside the 15. And now McCord throws another one. Cade Stover has his second touchdown today. You know this tight end loves seeing the tight end get involved. Two touchdowns for Cade Stover today. Again, it's, it's all set up off of the ability for this offense to run the football. Cade Stover is a guy, you don't know if he's going to run block. They go the hard run action right at him, and he kind of sneaks his way through. Kick of the game. No, but he got the job done here as McCord is still in there and finds Harrison, who is still in there, who has room and ahead of steam down the far side. Them an opportunity to maybe try to go for this third down conversion. They're going to throw on third and 12. It's 